Hey, my little bronze leaders, and welcome back to Sonic Headers Garbage at Games. Uh, this time, we're continuing with episode two of Doki Doki uh, Literature Club, and we're just hopping right into it. We're just gonna go right to it. We're gonna show our poem to Monica. Monica, what do you think about our poem? I'm having a great time, obviously. By the way, since you're new and everything, uh, oh, I, ha I have a lot of suggestions. A lot of suggestions on what we could do to make this club a lot more fun. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. All right, let's do this. Why don't you just take a listen to my poem? I promise you'll like it. It's, um, it's awful. Mm-hmm. Great job. Wait, you didn't even read it. She didn't even read it. It's really metaphorical. That's, it's not, it wasn't, mm, okay. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Okay. I want to read Monica's poem. You know that Yuri writes this kind of writing, right? Yeah, that's why I showed it to her first. Imagery and symbolism, really dark and tragic things. Unlike Sai Say Say, who uses simple and direct words. Sure. Uh-huh. Right, sure. Years of practice. Well, I knocked it out in like 30 seconds. You do your own thing? That's exactly what I did. Just keep exploring and learning and trying new things. I mean, it could be a while before, you know, I feel comfortable doing this again. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased. Don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. No one wanted me to write this way. I just chose these words. Yeah, let me read your poem. Let me read it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me. Give me the poem. Give me the poem. Give me. Here we go. Hole and wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of this meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. My god. Amazing. Why are you just staring at me? Okay, I did it. Good poem. Good poem. And I'm done. How do I? So what do you think? There we go, I press shift or something? It's very free form. That was kind of creeping me out that she was just standing there looking at me. I thought that something bad was about to happen. I'm really not the right person to ask for feedback. Yeah, it's kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. Emphasis on the timing between words and lines. What was the inspiration? She had an epiphany. Something like that. Maybe after everyone is better friends. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a dark puddle of ink. So move your hand, go with the flow. That's her advice. Great, thanks Monica. Let's go talk to Say. Hi Say. This is a good poem. Of course it's a good poem. That's why she's impressed, because it's a good poem. She was afraid that I wouldn't do it seriously. Come on. Yeah, definitely. Part of the, part of the, part of the team. Team literature. Deep down, you're not selfish. That's something only really good people do, is doing things for other people. She's part of the reason I joined. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Alright. Let's read her poem. Ow. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Good. Good poem. Good poem. Solid. She, of course, forgot to do it and did this this morning. She still tried her best. Right, because trying your best is... Trying your best is obviously the most important. She made eggs and toast. It's bad to skip breakfast. Thanks for showing me your poem. Next time she won't forget and she'll write the best poem ever. I don't think so. Let's go talk to Suki. Hi, Suki. If you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? What? Hey, hold on. Do you think I'm stupid? I, well... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Get all mad about my poem. I don't write poetry, bitch. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Jesus. Okay, well, some people liked it. Here we go. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Really? Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I don't like it because it's bad. Just be honest. I am. Why, why were you so convinced that... Everyone in high school thinks that high school, uh, the writing in high school has to be all sophisticated. Uh, well, I mean, if we're looking at your poetry as an example of your expressing yourself, okay, sure. <laughs> I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Yeah, that, mm, I, I don't think so. But then made it fall flat on purpose helps bring out the feeling in the last line. That's what it means to be a pro. So, Suki is the youngest. Sure. Way to go, guys. I guess that's everyone. As if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. There's no way my poems could stand up to theirs. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Suki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles. What's with this language? Eh? You say something? No. Dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Wow! That's rude! She, she thought her poem was cute. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Wow. Which, people liked it, by the way. I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I was impressed by it. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you're just jealous that Sonic had appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Wow. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. 
Hey guys. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Sonic had started showing up. Wow. Uh, Suki, that's a little bit, um... This doesn't involve you, Monica, bitch. Guys, they don't like fighting. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could just get over herself... <laughs> this way... This... No, yeah, it's good. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Help me explain that to her, son. I mean, look, guys. Like, both your guys' poems are fine. Just... There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words. Don't limit yourself to just a couple easy words. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Look, guys, I know literally nothing about writing. You're having a silly conversation. I agree with Yuri on this one, obviously. You're right that I liked your poem. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight because someone's opinion is different. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mmm, I get it. Yuri, you're a seriously talented writer. You got it going on, right? It's no secret that I was impressed by your poem, right? But here's the thing. Um, no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're putting their feelings into it, and that makes it really personal to them. So maybe don't be a bitch when you read their poem, okay? That's right. Apologize. But Suki took it too far. Yeah. Are you kidding? No. I think that- Oh, Monica stepped in. Yuri already apologized. Maybe you should be the bigger person and also apologize. Uh, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need- You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'll sp sp it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Wow. Sorry, Yuri. She's so embarrassed. Can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. Oh my god, if this wasn't the most overdramatic... How could anyone not have been frustrated after that? I don't think any less of you. I still think your boobs are great. Apparently I'm too kind. Oh, right clicking just gets rid of the prompt so you can stare at like the girl's chests. I get it. One more thing. That one thing that Suki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. What did, what did Suki say? Yeah, no, what was it? What did she say? I'm just gonna go make some tea. Okay, Buh bye. Okay, everyone, it's about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? Not super great. It was all right, mostly. It was neat to talk about it with everyone. Excellent. We'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you learn something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. Nah, probably not. He nods to himself with newfound determination. Sure, sure, say you re, say you re, say say. Spending time with say say is my favorite thing to do. About what happened earlier? Doesn't happen often. I promise they're both wonderful people. Sure. You don't hate them, do you? No, I'm sorry, Say uh, Sayori. After that one experience, I just, I can't stand either one of them. They almost got into a real fight. Whew. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. I think they do. Every day is going to be a lot of fun. Eh, mm, well... Sure, being friends with everyone, but does it need to stop there? See, this guy gets it. We'll see. We'll have to see what the future holds. Let's do this. We're writing another poem. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. 
Let's start with suicide. Graveyard. We're writing Yuri Pull. Festering. Disaster. Depression. Oh god damn it. Horror. Uh unstable. Uh frightening. Explode. Uh anger. Anger? Really? Okay. Cry oh my god. Inferno and a tone. Yep, there we go. And then Destiny, yep, figured. Uh, uncanny. Desire, Starscape, Vertigo. Vertigo! Wrath. Contamination. Effulgent. Disarray. Massacre. Judgment. There we go. I only missed like three. She's gonna love this poem. This poem is so awful. Yo, say say. It's the simple things. Say say's kinda hungry. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll go with you to buy- No, I guess I won't. Just kidding, ha. Huh? Why don't we take a look at your purse? Just wanted to look at it. Too small. Oh, I see. This bitch wanted me to pay for all of her shit. I get it. He sees right through you, Sayor. You got nothing. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought the snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves only the one option. Damn. Get fucking played. If you feel guilty, you deserve to feel guilty. Ha! She just laughed at you. Oh. Oh, and she got caught. Tell Sonic to let me borrow some money. Yeah, no, probably not. You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Your suffering is fair enough retribution. <laughs> Did I just? I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. Uh. It's the fun side of you when she tells you that suffering is your retribution. That's good. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. Yeah. There's a little devil inside of all of us. I think one of the club members might have a larger devil than the rest of us. Judging from what I read on the internet. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes? That's probably true. Wow. What did you get hit by? Are you, someone just threw a cookie at you? Let me guess. Retribution, not restitution. Suki just hit her in the face with a cookie. Damn. You shot hit in the face with a cookie. Now she's talking with her mouth full. She bit her tongue. Wow. But yours is chocolate. Why do you think I gave you that one? So she hits you in the face with a with a cookie, and then you're happy. Okay. 
Did she seriously just take her bite to her cookie? Damn. You're such a child. You're the you're the youngest. Eh? Monica isn't here. Where's Monica? No one's heard anything about Monica not being here. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do. She's pretty busy. She has a boyfriend? She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's true. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. But, uh, what on earth are you, Monica? Ah, uh, never mind. What held you up? My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. You'd have heard the bell ring. I was practicing piano. She just kind of started learning to practice piano. Practicing to learn, it doesn't matter. Maybe once she gets a little bit better, she'll play something for us. That sounds fun. We all look forward to it. In that case, I won't let you down, Sonic. I mean, the rest of the class wanted to hear, but okay, that's fine. Once she's ready, she'd like to share. Good luck, Monica. You didn't miss anything. Say Say has already finished the cookie. Is it poem reading time? She was waiting for me. Why don't we go ahead and get started? I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Do it. Make it happen. Can you hold this first? Okay, yeah. Water pitcher, electric kettle. We'll get some water. The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, she appears elegant and methodical. Yeah, why don't we all walk together? Let's do it. Where are you two off to? The broom closet to go fetch water. We're just gonna go make some tea. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was a bit curious. That's kind of a one person job, isn't it? Well, maybe you should mind your own business. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Sonic and Club activities, huh? 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 I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. That's right. Goodbye, Monica. Once the hallway, <laughs> once in the hallway, she slams her forehead against the. Something about the way she said that it made me feel so irritated. Wow, the music has gone. It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. How come even when I do something bad, you're being so nice to me? Nothing you do is bad. Nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Wouldn't you hate me for doing something as terrible? Can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? I really like being friends with you. Haha. Uh -huh. Thanks, Yuri. Stop being so awkward. Anyway, let's go get that water. Oh, that was quick. Do you like oolong tea? It's my favorite. Let's do it. 200 degrees so you can turn your tea into liquid magma I ran out of my own tea actually she begins measuring tea leaves 
She just really likes tea. She's trying to express herself more in life. Just don't push yourself. It's very endearing. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? We have fucking chairs! It's a little bit easier on my back. Okay. Sure. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. I wonder why. It's probably because my... Your posture, right? Yes! I have terrible reading, so that's... I don't think that's why you have back pain. You have chocolates? Oh my god. Hit it up. This kid is spitting game non-stop. He's gonna slay all the girls in this poetry class. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest, of course. She's just reading the book. All of his willpower was used to focus on the book. It's okay, I won't take any. She might get smudges on the pages. I mean, that makes sense. He didn't even think about that. Jesus, he's so selfish, getting chocolate smudges all over the book. Ooh. Wait, check out this animated scene. This is actually kind of neat. She opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have a, a hard over time reading from her. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Now he's feeding her chocolate. Damn. Did I just, yeah, you sure did. She enjoyed it. That's something that friends do, right? Yep, totally normal. Don't, don't, don't stop feeding me chocolate. How did... Does no one else in the club see this shit going on? Hey, um, so like... Uh, Sonicat and Yuri over in the corner, he's like, literally sitting on top of her feet and her chocolates. Like, is this... Where everyone else is... Is fine? Fine? Oh, okay, I'm on... I'm on... I'm the only... Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, everyone! Enough of that! Wow, yep. Monica had enough of that. They clean him without even a word. Good. Um, I think before we get into this next scene here, uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and save because it's been 30 minutes for this episode. We're gonna save over this. Um, and that way, on the next episode, we'll just get right into this poem part, and then we'll move forward, uh, from there. It's getting interesting. It's definitely, there's a lot more going on. Um, so, yeah. So, we'll pause there. And again, this was episode two of Sonic Cat's Garbage at Games in general. So, just, you know, be happy that you guys are better at games than I am. And this is all for entertainment. Even though there's not, like, a lot of skill in this, but my finger does, like, it takes a lot of focus to, like, tap on the space bar. Sometimes I even tap on the mouse button. You gotta do finger exercises. This, this is tough. This is tough stuff. So don't just think it's all, like, sunshine and rainbows. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Subscribe, uh, you know, if you would like to show your support for the channel. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you next time.